All right. All right, class, we're going to do the homework help for Tuesday. All right, I'm going to read it to you. Make sure that you understand, but I do want you to do this on your own, okay? I do want you to do this on your own. All right, so here, we're writing the inequality and we solve it. It says, Keith has $500 in his savings account. That's how much he has. So that's the starting amount. He has automatically $500 in his savings account. Hey, All right. So we got B. It's 500. He wants to save at least, so when you say he wants to save at least $200, that means that he wants $200 or more. So this is it's either equal to or greater than. So greater than or equal Josiah to. Josiah Morgan to the front office. Josiah Morgan to the front office. Okay. Greater than or equal to that, 200 at the end of the summer. He withdraws, that's subtraction. He withdraws 25 every single week. So that is my M here is going to be a negative 25 every single week for food, clothes, and movie tickets. Okay. How many weeks can he withdraw money from his account? So let's write the equation first. The equation is going to be um, that he has starts off with $500. Then minus 25x, or you can write it as 25, negative 25x plus 500, either way, y equals mx plus b, negative 25x plus 500. And this amount right here has to be greater than or equal to the $200. It can't be under that, all right? So now we're going to solve to see what our X um, has to stay up above. So in order to get X by itself, we're going to subtract 500 from both sides. Okay. So this is gone, and we're left with negative 25X. And then this is going to give us a negative 300. We're going to divide both sides by negative 25. Okay, so a negative divided by negative is positive, so this is going to be x. The inequality here is going to flip. And then this is going to be a negative 300 divided by a negative 25 is going to be a positive 12. So that means that your number of weeks has to be less than or equal to 12. Okay. Alrighty. Any questions about that? Okay. Uh, pause for the calls. All right. So let's look at let's look at this one. A taxi charges a flat rate. See this? Again, that's a starting amount. Plus an additional sixty five cent for every mile that's a rate erica has at most ten dollars she can't go over ten dollars that's the most that she has so this is going to be less than or equal to okay less than or equal to at the most is ten dollars all right so how do we write this it says to spend on a taxi ride how far does she travel all right so you're, you have M, your slope, is 65 cent. Mm, let me just use X. Plus, you automatically have to pay the dollar and 75 cent, which this right here has to be less than or equal to the $10. Okay, it cannot, you don't have no more than $10. So it could be the equal to or less than $10. That's it. So now you need to solve this equation to figure out what it is. I'm going to read the other two, but I'm not going to write it for you. Chris wants to order DVDs over the internet. 
each DVD costs, look at what it costs, and the shipping for the entire costs this amount right here. All right. If he can spend no more, he cannot spend any more than $100. He cannot go over $100. What inequality is can't go over no more than $100, okay? What inequality is that going to be, all right? How many DVDs could he buy? Allison practices her violin at least, for at least 12 hours a week. So she practices it for at least the 12 hours a week at least so it's, it's 12 or more right she practices for three fourths three over four three fourths of an hour each session so every single session um, practices three fourths of an hour okay uh, if allison has already practiced for three hours this week already it's already three hours okay how many more sessions remain for her to meet or succeed her weekly goal? Remember what her weekly goal is right here. Okay. All right. See if you can write the equation and solve. All right, y'all. Have a good one.